The following is an excerpt from the DIY Flight Sim Pod assembly video. In this final section, we're going to populate the inner frame with computer hardware. We will also assemble all the pieces of the Flight Sim Pod. Your new flight simulator will soon be finished. We see here the inner frame, all painted and masking tape removed. Let's look at the right side of the frame. Here on the computer shelf, we can set a desktop computer and a power strip on the top shelf. Next, the monitor or HDTV. It is a very good idea to get help from a friend while mounting the HDTV. You can't actually see the bracket when you clip onto it, so it helps to have a second pair of eyes watching. Make sure it's centered in the frame also. Install the switch panels. Now you can add the yoke, and beside the yoke, the throttle quadrant. I have attached Velcro to the top of the throttle quadrant for the trackball mouse. There is enough room on the yoke housing for a mini keyboard, or it can go beside the yoke. And don't forget a drink holder. Attach the rudder pedals and add the speakers. Remember the chairs stay there? I painted these also. They have Velcro that loops over this horizontal bar. Notice when you use the chair stay there, you have to reach way down to get it, and you might want an easier way. I simply measured 7 inches from the end of the pipe and drilled two holes. I tied on a piece of boot string and hung it from the pipe above. I did this on both sides. Now I don't have to reach down so far. With all the peripheral equipment on this machine, we end up with a lot of wires. I loop the wires and use strips of Velcro to keep them organized. If I need a USB extension, I use Velcro straps to help keep it secure. Use it for the rudder pedals so the wire won't get tangled up with your feet. I secured the USB hubs with Velcro too. I recommend labeling the USB wires, there are so many of them. Once everything is hooked up, it's time for a test drive. Make sure all the peripherals work correctly. For the final step, I really recommend you get help from a friend. You'll need someone to hold the sidewall in place while you attach it to the three interface points. The first point is near the sideboards. There are two points in the front that slide into place also. Secure each interface point with a self-drilling screw. That side wall will stand by itself now and you can attach the other side wall. Attach all three interface points with self-drilling screws. Next, replace this bottom support pipe, or the tail end extension, your choice. Secure with self-drilling screws. Carry in the top canopy, 
and set the 1x4 board on the ledge near the top of the support pillars. Have your partner hold the back of the top canopy while you attach the front. Once the front two corners are in, you can attach one of the back corners. Secure the front two corners with self-drilling screws. Now we can attach the top support pipe. First, insert it in the left side. Remember, we left the right side of the top canopy loose for this reason. Attach both pipes simultaneously. Attach four self-drilling screws, the two back corners of the top canopy and both sides of the top support pipe. 